Every week I say this, but what is 2K doing? Because yes, you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title, we have got a demigod in our squad. And he came out in these Prime Series 3 packs, the Lamar Odom ones. And in these packs, there's a Galaxy Oval Danny Granger, Galaxy Oval Lamar Odom, but the player is Eddie Curry. Also, I very much overpaid for this card to try and bring out this gameplay ASAP. So be sure to smash that like button. If we can get 1,500 likes, then I'd appreciate it a lot. So be sure to smash that like button down below. So we've got him on the squad and over his career, he averaged 13 points and gets a 98 overall pink diamond. Yeah, but the crazy thing about this man, of course he's a 98 overall. He's seven foot and almost 300 pounds. If we do some rounding, I'm, I'm putting it up in the title just to make it look a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? But yo, like, he's seven foot, 295 pounds, and you would expect kind of like Shaq to not be able to shoot or anything. Just have a look at these stats. So I've got a diamond shooter and diamond contract over 97 post fade. 88 three ball. Like what? 98 staying dunk, 95 driving dunk. Like good ball handling too, good passing. 98 block, like pretty good defense as well. Great rebounding, 95 speed. He's super fast. 87 with ball, 95 stamina, 85 lateral quickness. Like this is the definition of a demigod. And yeah, just have a look at those dunking tendencies. It's kind of crazy. Just to go with it too, he comes with 31 Hall of Fame batters. One being brick wall, catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, green machine, relentless finisher, quick first step on a center, rim protection, Protector, box, clamps, intimidator, deep hooks, pogo stick, worm, back down punisher, consistent finisher, contact finisher, also 18 gold batters, one being interceptor, defensive leader, slithery finisher, bailout, and he also comes with gold, range extender, and quick draw. Now you guys know, I've got Shaq as well. Let's just compare both these cards. So he's one inch shorter, a little bit lighter, but look at these stats, they are so similar. Like all of these shooting stats are kind of minus one, minus two, minus three, and the rest of the stats are super similar. He's got plus one speed like what this eddie curry goes for 250k shaq goes for 1.2 mil yes shaq has a lot more hall of fame batteries and also hall of fame range extender but i gotta show you guys something you guys ain't even ready for this so with the dribble moves he's got them and look at that release are you guys i are you guys seeing what i'm seeing this is a center a center and this is his release the game's over the game's over and he's got 95 speed and yeah, so we've got him in the squad and I'm super hyped to try him out in some unlimited games and looking at the team, it is beautiful. Yes, you guys can see that we do have Lamar Odom, but we're not focused around him. We're going to be focused around this Eddie Curry and obviously the team is super fire. Our two pink diamonds are two of the best pink diamonds in the game, but I'm really excited to see what this Eddie Curry can do. And we are 8-0 for this Glenn Rice, so I don't really care about scoring with him. I just want to win. So without further ado, hopefully we can get our first. Let's get into it. And let's go. We've found our first opponent. His team is pretty good. He's got that Thon maker LeBron James. Let's see how this goes. And it's time to see how this Eddie Curry goes. A player I'd never heard of until today, but obviously I'm not going to feed him every single possession or else we might be in some strife. But kicking it back out to him here, maybe we can get the swing, kick it out to Anthony Davis for a wide open three, and that's a bucket. Let's get that first rebound for him too. He's got an assist, he's got a rebound, and look at how fast he is running up the court. We've got Kareem on us, but I feel like we should just be able to destroy. Let's just go up. Okay, that's a bad take. Bad take by me, but he somehow was at what? Did that pass even actually? I'm so confused. What just? Okay. Oh yeah, the rebounds are nice. And who do we see here? Do we just see him all the way? Or let's keep it to AD. Get another assist. And yeah, you can see his spacing. It isn't actually too bad. And he's probably gonna take that. That's a terrible shot, bro. Absolutely. You kidding me? You kidding me? It's just because LeBron like kind of leaned back in that. But the thing I feel like sh what should be super OP is the pick and fades with this. That's an illegal screen, isn't it? Great. Boards again. He's got four rebounds already, which definitely isn't too bad. And I see Kobe in the corner. Kobe, Bryant, 4-3, another assist. Give me that steal. What a reach there by Kobe Bryant. And let's maybe go the hop step this time. And then maybe if we go out, we could be able to get a three here. Or let's just call the pick and fade. And this should work a charm. Because if he gets any space, I'm pulling the three. Let's take it in on LeBron. LeBron, you ain't got the strength to stop this Eddie Curry. Maybe he does, but he gets his own rebound. Then back up, free throws. Time for him to get his first points. Free throws, money. He's actually missed a lot of shots, but I'm not complaining when he's got five boards, three assists. What a no dude, this card is insane on the boards and look at how fast he is running it up. And wow, it's gonna get really hyped when he posterized him and then he didn't. Yeah, we're currently shooting zero of four. So not the best shooting percentage with him, but it's okay because everything happens for a reason and we're gonna start making shots right now with a terrible shot. 
what am I doing? But we do get a steal with him straight after. So let's just go into the post against Pascal Siakam. And we should have the strength here because he's 300 pounds. A hook shot I like. It's not letting me icon switch. And then he gets a white. Dude, that sucks. Literally when the icon switch is the only thing that allows him to score. Finally, we're getting a dunk. My opponent really do be greening everything on me right now. But hopefully if he goes out here. Okay, we've got a wide open three with KD. But I was a bit late on it. Let's go the hop step. Keep back out to him. Wide open shot. That's such a good release. Yes, sir. We get a steal with Kobe. Throw it off the backboard and lay it in. Thing you guys got to kind of remember too. I'm going against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and destroying. Oh, Eddie. No, no, no. Don't shoot that. Don't shoot that. Let's just take it with the right. Take it all the way. Eddie Curry. Dude, he sucks on layups. I'll say that much. We do get the steal here. Let's throw up the lob and Eddie is going to flash. Yeah, it's a tied ball game. I'm not super happy with it right now, but Eddie's playing really well. All right, Eddie, what you got for me on the hop step here? Not bad, not bad. Let's keep it back out and then let's take it on the inside. Another hop step. I kind of wish he went out for three, but he still gets takeover now too. Yes. <gasps> Eddie. What? Okay, you get the block from the after, but how do we get that? No, no. No! Someone please tell me how I didn't get that steal. Just someone. Someone, please. I'm doing a pick and fade here, and this should work. It really should work. On Magic Johnson, just use your strength. Take it down low. Go the hook. Yes, sir. And I do now have my bench on the floor, thankfully, because we've got Ben Simmons and Eddie's still on too. The bench is already looking better than the starters, if I'm keeping it 100% real with you. But we do have Lamar Odom, his first time touching the floor, and it's not meant to be his gameplay, but I feel like he should still be a good enough card to be able to score for me. Let's go. Yes, Eddie gets another steal for me there. And I see Lamar Odom, the new connection of two players, getting the yam. It's a tied game right now. And he's got very good defenders on me, which is kind of killing me. And I need to stop here. I really do. He's got his own Eddie, and he ends up finishing that shot with him. So it's looking pretty tough right now. It really is. We somehow need to score. We need to make sure we score here. So Eddie, taking it on the inside. The pump fake. Maybe an N1. No. Eddie, down low. Come on, you do have some dribble moves. Let's just try and take it in. Okay, this is actually a good play for us right here because we might get him open or maybe Lamar Odom with the spin. Is this an N1? Let's go. Eddie, I see you. You know what else I see though? The bucket because we're going to go in with D-Wade, then kick it out. Good shot here for Eddie. He's got the best release in the game. Yeah, we're only up by one and I need defense here and it's going to be on the back of Eddie Curry. And this is good defense on his own Eddie. We just need to stick tight and it looks like he's trying to run a little bit of a play to get him wide open. This is great defense though. We just need to grab this rebound which we do with Andre Kirilenko. I see D-Wade running it up do we keep it to the corner for a wide open two? I like that. Perfect play. He's brought his starters on and I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared that we might make a dumb play, aka that one right there. I need to get the stop. I need to get... No, that was a great part. Okay. Wowee, this game's tight. This game's tight and it's tough, but we got this. We got this and Eddie... Uh, you're, you're the man. You're the man that I believe can make these plays. Lamar taking it on the inside. Hop step. Kicking it down to Eddie. Eddie, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, you helped out by getting your own board. Then let's go up with Lamar. Okay, wow, wow, wow. That's a bad shot. Give me that board. Yes, Eddie finally gets his eighth. It's actually crazy how long it took us to get another rebound from the start of the game. But let's go the hop step this time. I kind of wish he ran out of to the three-point line. But unfortunately, he just doesn't have those tendencies or something along those lines because he really likes collapsing the paint. But we do have Ben Simmons wide open here, taking it on the inside, getting another assist. And I have brought my starters on, but I decided to give Eddie just a little bit of a spell so then we can get these starters full energy. All right, I have so much faith in Eddie Curry here. We are, oh my God, that was the worst pass I think I possibly could have done. But we are 8-0 right now. And I've brought on Eddie Curry in the final three minutes because I have faith. I have faith in the man. Let's kick it to KD for another assist. Please, KD, please. Yes. Give me that. Yes, we got a steal. Okay, who do I see? I see Eddie, but I think I'm just going... He fouled. All right. Need to be careful with my pass here. Good. Okay, let's kick it to Eddie. Good. Maybe if he sags, I'll just pull the three. And this could be his first three that we... <sighs> I'm, I was so about to take that. I can't even lie. But we get the dunk. Come on, Eddie. Run it up. Look at the speed versus Kareem. And let's take it all the way with Eddie Curry going up free throws. Fun fact. He's got 24, 8, and 8 just for the mamba. And let's make all of them. Let's go 26 points. Good. Another steal. No way he got that. Oh, my. Okay. All righty. I see how we're playing now. I see how we're playing 2K. I really do see it. But this is good defense. Keep that hand up. Get this board. No way. He's Eddie Curry got it. We get the steal. Let's go. Let's go. Who do I see? You guys know who I see. He fouled. Why? I may think I've won this game, but I am not sticking to that. We need to make that shot. We're going to miss. We're going to miss. Eddie. 
He's the one that contested that board for us and ended up actually being the one getting it for us. So let's kick it out to the corner. Let's kick it up. Kobe Bryant, dagger, time, bang. Grab this rebound. Okay, Giannis stole it off me, but it was a great box out by my man's Eddie. I want to kick it back to Eddie. I want to get a snatchback three. Can he do snatchbacks? That's actually a really nice drill move. And then let's kick it out after the hop step. What a play. We're probably going to miss, which we do, but still, what some drill moves, what some playmaking, and we're going to win this game. Just like that, we ended up winning by nine points. I'm sweating because that was a sweaty game. And Eddie Curry led the way with 26 points in 18 minutes. Also eight rebounds, eight assists, two steals, one block, only two turnovers. Shot over 50%. Unfortunately, we didn't make a single three, but that was because my opponent was actually really good and we kind of struggled to be able to get open. But to think that Eddie Curry, a 98 overall, had 26 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, almost a triple-double. And look at these first quarter stats, except for the shooting percentage. Like that's crazy and he, kind of won us the game to be honest. So we are now 9-0 and and the question is would I recommend this Eddie Curry? My answer is yes. Like I, I don't even have to question it. This is quite possibly better than Shaq. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that, but it's just the release. It's by far the best release on a center in the game. And personally, I have Shaq, I have Hakeem, but I'm probably going to keep this Eddie Curry just because like he's got an 88 three ball with the shoe, insane dunking. Like he's pretty much Shaq with a perfect release, 95 speed. I highly recommend anyone that's thinking about getting this card to pick him up. Even if you do have Shaq on your team, this is a perfect substitute to be able to actually get another Shaq off the bench. Also fun fact, they're both number 34. And right now he is going for about 200K, but trust me, he's worth that price. So that's pretty much my recommendation on this Eddie Curry. He's an absolute demigod and I highly recommend anyone thinking about getting him to get him. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If we can get 1,500 likes on this video, I'd appreciate it a lot. And yeah, let's see how we go. Smash that like button, subscribe if you new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.